Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. As a friend of ours, Matt from the sailing channel Sail Life would say, uh, today is a special day. We're making an episode about installing a deck wash pump on Polaris. You may recollect that a few episodes back our anchoring bay has a very muddy ground and so it takes a while to clean the anchor chain and the deck. In one of our winter projects we are planning to build a deck wash pump to make this task easier and more efficient. But we will talk about this in a future episode. Therefore we decided to install a deck wash pump on Polaris to help us doing that much more efficiently in the future. This will also help us to clean Polaris down, to give her a splashdown and to clean the dinghy uh, once it's out of the water. The idea for this project is quite simple. I plan to use the existing hose uh, that is for the toilet flushing water. There is a seacock already, the hose is going to the toilet and the idea is to, to tie in this Y here to split that pipe here and then to attach this hose that will go from here to the water strain pump through the pump through some high, high pressure piping and into a deck hose adapter where we can put uh, our hose to splash down Polaris on. Everything will be linked together so it's an electric one and here are the components that I'm going to show you. So let me quickly walk you through the elements of that project. We start with the Y that we need to plumb off some water from the toilet hose in uh, inlet. We then go into the sanitation hose. The sanitation hose will be fitted to that little strainer to protect the pump. The strainer will go on the pump like this. And then from the pump we will have this high pressure pipe to lead all the way through the through the boat to the to the bows where it will end into this through deck fitting where we can conveniently attach a hose to splash down the deck. So far the plan, so let's go into action. First thing I have to clear out the sail locker from all the stuff inside because we're gonna work quite a bit inside here. finished yet. I'm just putting the stuff away overnight and uh, tomorrow we gotta get everything out again. Another morning. So after yesterday we successfully pulled in the high pressure pump from the anchor locker down to the toilet sink here. So that's the pressure hose. Um, it's now today the task to finish hopefully. Firstly to install the pump, the pump unit and then 
to prepare the intake hose that will go into the pump and this will go into the toilet inlet. That's the pump fitted. Next thing is to reattach the water strainer. It's quite a brisk winter morning. The wind is howling, so, but still the front end of the plumbing needs to be done. Wahrscheinlich da oder sehe ich weiter vorne aus, meinst? Here or further up? Much squid. So the decision has been taken. It's coming in roughly here. I just need to find a nice little center. Drilling the holes for the screws for the to make it fast. So number one, a little bit of countersink so that the gel coat doesn't split. Just like that might work. That's the situation from down below. You see here the pipe going through the wall. <laughs> Whoops, in the chain lock. And here is our deck adapter coming through the pipe, and I just need to connect it. And that's the front end plumbed in, the deck adapter, and the plumbing below deck. All done, ready to test. The next step in my little project is to pull the cable duct, so the wiring duct, so that we can pull in the wires to bring the power to the pump. I'm trying to find a way from the panel, which is here, with that duct down to the toilet underneath the sink where the pump is. The cable duct in. goes down, the duct then goes underneath the toilet and it re-emerges here so I just need to tidy that up a bit over there and then it comes up and then I'm ready to pull the wires. So that's the cable duct installed, here it comes out, I'm just pulling in the cable puller uh, to be able to install the wires afterwards. So that's me ready to attach the two 10 square millimeter cables for the power to the pump. I have now connected the pump's wiring to the wiring that I've pulled in, so this side is finished. Let's go to the switchboard. The same is down here, so I have the two cables here connected to the earth and to the power on the switchboard. That's just a provisional one, I have to tidy it up. 
But now, if we try, and it's number five. This is our deck wash pump. It's time to test it out. It's, I think it's quite good. We have quite some wind, about 15 knots against us. So, uh, well, there's a, quite a strong um, stream coming out. And this will work perfectly fine to wash the anchor uh, chain while it's coming up. And also with a longer hose. Very happy. 